can you be God's chosen person and be starving? How can you be saved and spirit-filled and blessed and highly favored of God and be broke? How is it possible that you could serve the Lord and be going through a divorce? Have you ever had your circumstances mock your identity? The kinds of times in your life where the enemy says, where is your God? My legs are in shackles. They cut me every time I move. It's never been darker. It's the worst day of my life. God, where are you? You will have a pit experience. When you're down to nothing, God is up to something. Champions are never chosen from the ranks of the unstarred. Trouble strengthens you. Trouble puts fire in your belly. Trouble tests your fortitude factor. Trouble turns your spaghetti spine into steel. Trouble reminds you that you are mortal and that you need the help of God to survive. Trouble lets you know that your strength is not enough. Trouble forces you to call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon me and I will answer thee and show you great and mighty things you know not. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Every area we abandon is territory the enemy takes. And my Bible says, neither give place to the devil. That word place is territory. You begin the battle on your knees and you face the battle from a stance of victory. We are not fighting for victory. We are fighting from victory. The thing that you are up against right now is not about you it belongs to God that doesn't mean that you don't have to show up for the fight you're not using God to get your victory God is using you to get his victory and as soon as you get that strength you can get down to business I'm telling you the thing that is fighting you is fighting him and you're not using him God is using you before you go against Jericho, Joshua, you must have an encounter with God. That you spend some time in the presence of God being directed and motivated and filled and charged with the mind of God how to get the victory on tomorrow. The power of knowing God's will. There is nothing like the favor of God. It is the golden key that opens the gates of heaven. When you, when you scream, scream and the light of the world is gone, he is, he is there. there. When you feel totally forgotten, you will hear that still small voice whisper, I will never leave you nor forsake you even to the ends of the earth. You can find Jesus in the valley as well as the mountain top. When you're weeping in your cell, when you're weeping in your bedroom, when everything seems gone and lost, God is taking your adversity and turning it to your advantage. I will not let this shine on I will not let this shine on I will not let this shine on It is better than riches and diamonds and silver. It is the most fabulous thing that a person can have. Your mansion is getting ready when you're in the pit. Remember, the palace is the next stop and you're on the way with God's help. God has enough patience to handle what happened in the last six weeks of your life, or the last year of your life, or the last five years, or ten years of your life, or your whole life. If you're wondering whether or not God can use you after where you've been and what you've done, and the decision you've made, listen to me. If He can handle the past few millennia, making sure y'all would be in relationship with each other, I'm telling you, He has got your lifetime covered. I will not let this shine, 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 shine.